Welcome back to another interesting tutorial and today we'll be showing you how to make the the, the coronavirus awareness. Let's jump into it. Alright, before we start, I hope everyone is fine and safe at home. Yeah, always sanitize your hands and keep safe. Yeah, alright. First and foremost, we create a new composition and I'll be naming it COVID. I'll name it COVID, uh, COVID 19. Yeah, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll make up the, the, the width is 920 and uh, the height 1080. Uh, then uh, I'll leave it to 30 frames per second. All right, yeah, good to go. All right, so we have a very good view like this. And the next thing you do, you create a new solid like this. All right, and in this solid, you leave it white with 920 to 1080. Yeah, if it isn't right, you make it white. All right, so we have this. Next, you have to import your footage for the virus. Uh, you get the files in the description down below. Yeah, I hope it helps you out. All right, so you come to import and uh, you select your select your file. Uh, press OK. My files, my players. All right. So you carry this and drop it in. All right. So we have that good-looking coronavirus there. <laughs> all right so what you do to be able to so we have these things uh, I'll show you this when you uncheck this you have it like you have a plane there yeah so you can drop it on any layer yeah so what you do you get this and you bring it to this place and you get your pen tool and you draw a circle around this yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like that. Such that we can animate these things each at a time. Yeah. Alright. So, you have a nice corona thing here. And next, you gotta add your text. So, what you do, you get the text tool. And uh, you type in. Uh, let's type in... Uh, yeah, so we have got a beautiful text and just get it up a little and so we have something like that. Yeah. We have something like that. So what you do, you highlight the 19 just to make it a little more a little more stylish and uh, you make your red. Yeah. You see that? We have a cool looking the looking design over there. All right. So uh, what you do, you duplicate this, and you, uh, you move it down. Yeah, you press Ctrl D to duplicate, and you highlight this, and type in uh, awareness. All right. Then what you do, you come here on character and make this regular, just to have a difference with the words. Yeah, then to be so. Yeah, all right. So we have this. Good. You just carry it down a bit. A bit, a bit of a difference. All right. So we have a good-looking word like that. Yeah. You can decide to put this in small letters if you will. Yeah. Go find it in big letters, but it's based on what you want. All right. Anyway, you can leave it like that. Yeah. All right. So we have the COVID-19 awareness. We have something like that. Then we have to animate our corona coronavirus such that it has some movement in it. You have to add some life to it. All right. So you select this. You get this uh, this pen tool and move these just in the center of the virus. All right. Then uh, after that. You open up this, and you move this timeline, and uh, press speed position. You put it. No, sorry. You press R for rotation. Yeah, 
and you move it about uh, you move it about a few frames yeah up to there then you rotate to about uh, 200 degree 201 all right 201 so it's if you have something like that pretty cool right yeah pretty cool so you give it some give it some life you can increase the diamond so just you slow it down a bit yeah all right so the next thing you do is um, you get your text uh, then you pre-compose it you press a command shift command shift C yeah and I'll name it text yeah all right mm -hmm. so we have our text over there what you do you get this uh, you create a shape layer from there yeah like that pretty nice all right then we have something you, you do it like that then you open the text bar and you highlight it and press position then we could say move around 10 frames and we could say this position that's where we want our text to be but then then we move back to zero frames and hold shift and move this backwards yeah, all right then we have uh, this kind of animation although it's too it's too lazy and nothing all right so you highlight all these keyframes right click keyframe assistant and easy is the get to the graph editor highlight all this and adjust all these frames you adjust all these frames like this and like this all right so you're gonna see what we're gonna be having yeah it's kind of having that that going fast and then that smooth edge. Yeah, all right. Pretty cool. You can uh, you can adjust it uh, until you get what you really want. But though I uh, you can continue to adjust the the graph until you get what you really want. But I'll be going with that. Pretty nice. I like that. Yeah. Alright, so having that, you get back to this, and you put this text beneath, yeah, alright, and you get your shape layer you made, and you have to, you have to automate this such that it comes out of the, comes out of nowhere, pretty cool, yeah, alright, so, what you do, you get your shape layer, like over there and we have our text coming in there so what we do we have a map right so you can see so you see you don't only see it coming from here it just comes out of the virus it's so smooth and nice well pretty cool right pretty nice all right so after that what you do you get this coronavirus and you duplicate it when you duplicate it you hold it and you move it you get a few of these you gotta like uh, get some more of these viruses and just occupy the free space to make a little bit of design and keep a good shape in it all right then you could have a big one come again and you just uh, have this this beneath kind of it, it's kind of like it's coming up but then it's not then it's yeah yeah then you get this distant kind of view yeah you can take it to a distance about uh, uh, I think I'll play about 15 all right yeah it looks like it's to some kind of a distance all right yeah so you create a kind of effect yeah it's pretty nice all you have to do is to put uh, this beneath the text so that it looks like it's behind it's it's behind it all right yeah you put this beneath oh you can even move it up to over there still nice 
yeah all right that's pretty cool so we have this kind of effect all right i like that all right so when you are done with this oh we're pretty almost there yeah <laughs> all right thank you for keeping up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button yeah it really helps a lot all right for the camera movements check out the part two yeah i'll show you how the the camera moves and uh, you see different different coronavirus and and uh, the text and yeah the way it it moves all right so you see that in part two yeah for this it's done see you in the next tutorial subscribe like please comment i want to know your mind about this tutorial i want to know whether you liked it yeah all right thank you very much see you next time